Hi everybody, uh, welcome and thank you for joining us today. This is David Carmendia, leading growth marketing for global strategic accounts at Trina Solar Europe. We want to share with you some key findings on a white paper that we have elaborated on bifacial technology, including our cutting-edge vertex uh, modules and also our solutions for mounting systems. You know that bifacial technology is not a new technology, however, it was not widely deployed until 2018. In fact, in 2019, only 9% of global seed fans or modules were bifacial. However, and despite of the pandemic situation in 2020, well, global shipments for bifacial modules reached roughly 21% and in 2021, around 35%. Forecast for 2022 and on ongoing years is roughly 50% of global market shares and even more if we only take into account uh, utility scale ground mounting installation. The power output of a bifacial module can be expressed as a sum of the energy output in the front side plus the energy output on the rear side. Easy, right? So this apparently easy formulation has been puzzled almost everybody in the industry among the last years. Why? Because in a monofacial module, the calculation and modeling of the power output can be easily and straightforward be done. However, in the bifacial module, as the radiance in the rear part of the module has, to, has been taken into account, then this process is not straightforward at all. <clears throat> Many estimation tools are using the concept of bifacial gain as a fraction of the energy produced in the rear side uh, versus the, the energy that is produced on the front side. Link it to the bifacial gain concept and other topics such as bifacial ratio and bifaciality are coming as an inherent properties of every single module. As you know, key components affected for a bifacial PV plan are the modules and the mounting system. And the good point is that in Trina, we can provide both of them. So focusing more our efforts on system level rather than on individual components. And this is crucial in order to guarantee compatibility, reliability, and also cost-driven solutions in order to reduce LCOE for our customers. On module side, uh, we are uh, clearly believers on glass-glass configurations. Nowadays, we can assure that this is the most robust solution for the market. And also, on the mounting system solutions, right, there are, uh, it's important to capture the irradiance in the rear side of the modules. For the reason, um, there are several parameters that are critical and important for a tracker system. Parameters such as, as the size and height of the torque tube, also the pulling height, and especially, also important, the central gaps amongst the modules be between others, right? It is also affected by the super track algorithm. As you know, with the penetration of bifacial modules, the way in which we track the optimum angle is changing dramatically. And this, there is a lot of intelligence and smartness behind this. Bifacial technology is a really mature technology. However, and despite of that, at Trina Solar, we have run many case studies and test field studies at different uh, geographical locations in order to really measure the benefits of this technology. For the reason and, and the conclusions about that are that for these allocations with really good conditions in terms of irradiance, normally and generally speaking, module plus tracker is the best combination in order to increase and improve the internal rate of return of PV plants. However, for these installations with purer uh, irradiance conditions, also the modules plus a fixed steel structure like this one, our fixed origin one, it's helpful to re uh, reduce the LCOE of our customer PV plant. Also in terms of sensitivity, the higher the albedo is, the higher the mounting height is, and also the wider the central gap is, the higher the bifacial gain can be. And this is important because apart from components, 
there are some parameters at system level that are also relevant in order to have reliable and also good performance of Wi-Fi LTD plan. Parameters such as albedo, mounting height, the distance between module rows means the pitch, and also all the shading that all the elements in the mounting systems are created. Depending on these parameters of the components, the bifacial alkene can vary in the range of 5% up to 10 30%. Therefore, the energy production of a bifacial PV plant can be increased in a range of up to 10% in comparison with a monofacial technology. Do you want to learn more? Unfortunately, today we are running out of time. And all these topics and many other more are really well explained in our bifacial white paper document. So please be tuned and <clears throat> on all the novelties regarding this uh, technology and this white paper. Cheers, have a good day.